Everybody. Welcome to Mountain Bike Mythbusters. I'm Jamie Hill, Juliana rider and coach, and today we're here to bust some myth. Many people think using your front brake is going to make you go over the bars, and chances are you've probably been told at some point just to use your back brake. Let's take a look at what would happen if I just use my back brake when trying to stop or slow down. You see, if I just use my back brake, I have limited control and I end up just skidding the whole way down. This is the opposite of what we wanted to happen, which is stop or slow down. And therefore, just use your rear brake is a mountain bike myth. Let's take a look at how to use both brakes, in particular your front brake, which is where most of your stopping power comes from. And by the end, you'll be calling your front brake your best friend. When we brake, we use gradual consistent pressure and we modulate based on the needs of the terrain. So let's start with gradual pressure. We apply the brakes progressively a little bit at a time until you feel that bite. Once you feel that bite and we've achieved the desired power, we consistently hold that pressure until we might need to adjust our power, which is where modulation comes in. And modulation is simply easing the squeeze. So we're adjusting our power, a little less brake and a little more brake. We brake to slow down and stop, manage our speed and to not speed up. And the ratio of the front versus the back brake changes based on our application and the rate of deceleration. So follow me. You wanna slow down fast, more front brake and a good strong body position. Just trying to not speed up, you might use less front and drag the rear brake to manage speed while continuing to allow the front wheel to track. Slowing down over a longer period of time, you'll end up using both brakes fairly equally. Now you should have the skills to brake like a boss. See you next time on Mountain Bike Mythbusters.